creators welcome back to my channel today you guys we're going to be making a pineapple chicken bowl so to start i have my seasonings i have some obey ground pepper parsley flakes himalayan salt garlic some minced onion this right here is like a garlic and herb paste you can find it in your vegetable aisle in a dry section over by the potatoes i think it would be the same as any market i have two tablespoons of sugar two tablespoons of oyster sauce then I have some chicken thighs. This is five chicken thighs, you guys. I have the pineapple boat, of course. Then I have some broccoli here. Then I have two cups of rice. This is my steamer. So I'm going to go ahead and put, well, it's a rice cooker, but then I have the steamer on the top. All right, my creators, let's get it. All right, y'all, how are we doing today? I hope you guys are doing awesome, awesome. I'm doing great, you guys. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me. My name is Tish and I get it in the kitchen, baby. So today we're going to go ahead and do this pineapple boat. What you want to do is slice your pineapple down the middle. Don't take your stem off. Just go ahead and slice down the middle. This is this part is hard. I should have had my husband do this because I don't know y'all. Let's see if we can get it. Let me get another knife. You know what? Maybe I should have got. Okay. All right. All right. All right. All right. All righty. There we go. It's open. Good. 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 Okay. So we have it open, looking all juicy and nice. I hope you guys can see me. This crazy light above my stove went out. I don't know what's wrong with it, y'all. So. I'm thinking that y'all can see I have, I'm giving you as much light as I can. So I hope the video looks fine. So what you wanna do is just score it down the middle. Score it, score it, score it. Okay. And then you're gonna wanna score it again this way. Okay. And then just kind of lightly go around the edges here and you are going to have to do some digging to get it out of course you don't want the middle because that's the core but you do want the two sides okay so that's looking good so far let me grab a bowl So how y'all doing today? I hope y'all doing good. I'm doing good. I'm so tired I can't halfway remember my day. Does that make sense? Have y'all any, any of y'all do that sometimes? I promise you, sometimes I'm like, man, I can't even remember my day. I did so much. But that's okay. As long as we got some production done you know some progress done towards your dreams you guys I know y'all doing things every day every day continuously pushing yourselves I know you guys are and I'm so proud of you keep going don't stop keep believing in yourself okay don't stop believe it let me stop <laughs> All right, so that is how you're going to want your pineapple boat to be. You want a nice cavity in it, okay? And I'm going to just pick around here so I won't have any of the, you know, other little sides that's not going to make it. But so far, that's kind of what you want. You want a deep cavity in it. I'm going to go ahead and score the other one. I won't bore you guys with that, and I'll meet you right back here. Okay, you guys, so I went ahead and finished the pineapples. And let's get into this video. So, of course, you know that when it comes to your chicken bowl, you want to make sure that you are washing your pineapple first. I'm sure you guys already know that, but if you don't do, if you don't know, make sure you wash your pineapple first. So, I'm crazy enough to make a different type of chicken well not really a different type of chicken more so 
not putting pineapple in my husband's and my son's. Okay, y'all, so let's get into this video. So I'm crazy enough to go ahead and do two different types of chicken. Not really two different types of chicken, but more so um, two different batches of chicken. Only because my husband does not want the pineapples in his chicken. He said, pineapples in chicken don't go together. Or what did he say now? Pineapples aren't supposed to be warm. That's what he said. Make sure I get it right. But I mean, to each his own, I'm going to show you guys how to do it. This is going to be my batch and then I'll do a separate batch for his. I'm not going to do anything special with his. It's just not going to have any pineapple in it. Okay. So you guys can follow me the same way. If you don't want to do the pineapple chicken as well. Okay. Still going to be easy peasy. All right. So in my hot skillet, I'm going to add my chicken breast and you guys can use, or chicken thighs, I'm sorry. You guys can use chicken breasts if you would like. I am using chicken thighs because here we go again. My husband doesn't really like the, um, he doesn't really like uh, chicken breasts only because he says that it's dry, which is, he's correct about that. Chicken breast is a lot dry. So this is why I'm gonna be using the chicken thighs for this and then I feel like it goes so I just added some onion powder and some parsley flakes and some ground black pepper I have my garlic that I'm going to squirt in there get my chicken moving around okay you guys today I want to talk about um, giving and I just want to talk about how you giving can change other people's life on their perspective on life. Um, you always give with a closed hand. And for some people, you guys don't know what I mean when I say that, so I'll just break it down. When you give with a closed hand, in an open heart, you're giving not to receive anything back. Okay? I'm adding in my pepper and my um, obey y'all. So, I feel like it's really important to do that. And also, when you do something for somebody, don't expect them to give it back to you. And don't expect them to, uh, I mean, and you shouldn't, you know, go ahead and talk about it. You kind of want to do things with a blind eye and you know don't speak on what you've done for a person because believe it or not if it gets back to that person it kind of tarnishes their spirit in a way you know depending on who they are now I'm a spiritual person so for me it would tarnish my spirit if somebody was to do something for me and then I hear back from somebody else I'd be like dang well you know maybe I didn't want you to help me out you know I didn't want them to know that you did this for me or man why are you going around boasting about what you did for me so that's what I mean about giving with a closed hand and an open heart not expecting anything in return and just doing it just because so chicken always jumping out this pain <laughs> so to me from from me you guys I would say you know just try to give what give that given that order Give just in that order. And like I said, I'm a very giving person and I love to give, you know, whatever I can, when I can. And everybody is different, but that's just me. And I love to share the gift of love and enjoy. Just telling you guys about how I feel about certain things and, you know, spreading the gospel of giving blindly all right so you guys this chicken you just keep on stirring it around in your pot until you know for a good 10 to 15 minutes or so and then again i'm going to take my husband's portion out and then i'm going to keep on going with my chicken because again you know he don't like the pineapple i think i'll do the pineapple last 
I just put in the garlic and herb seasoning. I know you guys are like, dang, she always using garlic and herb. Let me tell y'all something. I love garlic and herb, okay? You guys will see me layering it and layering it and layering it because I love it. I love it. And I'm sitting here contemplating on if I want to put some shrimp in here. But I'm not sure. Let's see. Let's see. It's a little late, so I need to have dinner on the table soon. Um, we'll see. I think I'm going to leave the shrimp alone today. I always have shrimp on hand. Because you can cook so many things with shrimp. Okay? So keep on stirring that chicken around. I'm going to meet you all back here in about five minutes or so. Okay, you guys. So... My broccoli is done and my rice is done. So I'm just gonna put just a little bit of broccoli in there for me. And I cooked <laughs> like two different meals. Well, not, again, not two different meals. It was more so like I did it kind of separately. Like everything separate. And if you guys have picky eaters like I do, like for my son, this is what I did for him. He's three. He'll be three next month. But this is what I did for him. I just put everything on the side because that's the only way he's going to eat it. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to stir this up in here. And we're pretty much done, you guys. We're going to go ahead and put these boats together, okay? Okay, so my boats are back. And we are just going to go ahead and put this up now, y'all. See, that was fairly quick. That was like maybe less than 30 minutes. Okay. So I'm going to do mines with the... Remember, mines had the... Uh, mines have the pineapples in it. I'm going to make them nice and full. I'm sorry, y'all. That was a straight preview. I'm going to make them, make them look nice and full, you guys. Remember, presentation is everything, and everything you do, do it with grace, you guys. Well, it feels better when it's done with grace. Grace and excellence. Yes, I don't love it. Okay, I'm gonna get that chicken. I seen it fall. <laughs> and this is my husband's boat, which does not have the pineapple. Which is great because it kind of give you guys variety on what you want to do for you and your family. Okay. Okay. So we want a clean scoop. We're going to get a clean scoop. Because I want... Well, it doesn't have to be a scoop. It can be a, a spoon. Just a clean spoon and put my rice on. I did put butter in here already. Oh, y'all, that look good. Mm-hmm. Yep. Fix it up a little bit. That looks good. And it's even gonna be, like, fun to eat out of it. It's like you had a restaurant somewhere or something. Guys, you don't have to, and this was not a lot of money to do. I say it took maybe $10. I ain't no say. It was $10 or less to do this video, you guys. Okay? Yes, so like I was saying, about $10 or less to do this bowl. And again, I'm gonna make it look nice, full, and abundant. Nice and full. And I'm just gonna kinda play around with this because I want this to be kinda even evenly spread out okay and that is it you guys I'm going to go ahead and put some green onion on the top kind of spread it out here just put some green onion right on the top and you guys I know a lot of people just use green onion for garnish but I really love green onion for the crunch and the taste and the texture I love it it's just good so there we have it guys 
a chicken pineapple boat. Guys, thank you so much for tuning into my channel. Please like, comment, and subscribe for more recipes to come. From my kitchen to yours, be blessed. Until next time, my creators, have a blessed one.